temperature scales. So temperature can also have multiple units. There are three main units that are used for temperature. The first one is Fahrenheit, degree Celsius and Kelvin. Kelvin out of these is called the absolute unit of temperature. That is because you can have temperature in Fahrenheit that can go negative. You can have degree Celsius also go into negative, but Kelvin can never be negative, never negative. It will always be greater than zero, always greater than zero, okay? The coldest possible temperature is zero Kelvin, which is called absolute temperature or absolute zero because nothing can, sorry, nothing can exist beyond this zero degree Kelvin temperature, okay? So this, this coldest temperature that's possible for things to exist is zero Kelvin and it will never go negative. That's why it's called absolute because it's an absolute number, never a negative sign. Now, what are the conversion factors that relate these units? Degree Celsius can be related to Fahrenheit using this. T in degree Celsius is five over nine, T Fahrenheit minus 32. Or if you want to find Fahrenheit, you can rearrange this equation and that comes out to this. Another conversion factor that helps you convert things into Kelvin is degree Celsius to Kelvin. So temperature in Kelvin is equal to temperature in degree Celsius plus 273.15 Kelvin. One five. For example, if I say temperature is 25.0 degrees Celsius and I ask you what is the temperature in Kelvin? Okay, remember temperature in Kelvin is the degree Celsius. So you simply replace this T with the degree Celsius. 25.0 degrees Celsius plus 273.15 which will give you 298.1 or 298.2 Kelvin. Okay, why? Because this is addition. So this is one decimal place. This is two decimal place. So my final answer should be one decimal place, which would give you 298.15 Kelvin. One decimal place means my answer should end here. The following digit is five, so it will be rounded up. It becomes 298.2 Kelvin. Okay, so that's how you convert between degree Celsius and Kelvin. If you need to go do the reverse, you just rearrange the equation, which means T degree Celsius will be T in Kelvin minus 273.15. Okay, I usually remember this expression. You should remember this expression. I usually just remember this expression and rearrange it whenever needed. This right here will always be provided to you, degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, but if a temperature is given to you Fahrenheit and the question is asking, convert it into Kelvin. You first have to convert your Fahrenheit to degree Celsius and then you can convert it degree Celsius to Kelvin. So then you will have to do one extra step. Example question like this. What is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit on Celsius scale? So I just have to convert degree Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I just need the formula which is T degree Celsius is how much? So if you look up T degree Celsius is 5 over 9 TF minus 32. I'm solving for this. 98.6 is the Fahrenheit. So you just replace TF with that. 5 over 9 times this minus that. Your final answer is 37 degrees Celsius. And that's basically it. So this is different scales of temperature. They are all different from each other. Their numbers are never same. Their numbers will not match. If you want to find a temperature in from one unit to other, always use the conversion factor.